Come here, buddy. Well, good morning, guys. I've been uh, a little bit busy lately. Uh, came down with a cold. Uh, didn't really get to finish out the season like I hoped, but I ended the season in a very special way and today is finally the video where I get to announce what we've got going on because it's pretty exciting. Way over there in the corner of the yard, you see that little yellow dot like right there? That would be Nala. Nala is a yellow lab from Southern Oak Kennels and she's going to be Cora's new best friend and my new hunting buddy. Time came for me to kind of make a decision on Cora and what I wanted to do with her. Uh, as you guys know, we do have a whining problem and honestly, I've tried everything to fix it. I've, I've done everything you could possibly imagine and uh, nothing ever seems to be working. So, you know, it is what it is. Not much I can do about it. I think one of the biggest problems that I did was I rushed into training Cora and I rushed through the training process to take her from a seven week old puppy to a nine month old dog that's going to hunt that season and that was not a good decision on my part. So I'm going to be doing some stuff differently with Nala. Um, Cora's still trying to figure out how to play with her. She, Cora can get to playing a little too rough. Um, but with Nala, I'm going to take my time. I'm following the Cornerstone program like I did with Cora. Uh, so if you guys do want to train your dog and you want to follow a program, I highly recommend the 52 Plus program. You can save 50 bucks with the coupon code down below in the description of this video. And there's also a link that you can click on. It'll give you the discount as well. But uh, we're going to be following the Cornerstone program. Uh, we're... I got my hands full, guys. <laughs> I... I uh... I bit off a lot more than I could chew this morning. We had a we had an accident in the kennel last night, and yeah, it's been it's been a little rough. We've had her for about a week now, a week and two days. So she's doing good. She's settling in. I'm really 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 excited to start the training process. We've been doing some stuff in the kitchen before meals and working on sit and here and just little little obedience things. Nothing too serious, but just enough to kind of set the foundation. Get her figuring out how to learn so then next week when we get into doing place board stuff we will uh, have a kind of maybe just a little head start and we won't be going through some of the learning stuff I figured with her she's kind of settled in pretty quick so I taken advantage of some opportunities to train her while I can we've got not one but two dogs now Nala will not hunt next season Period. End of story. If I hunt her next year, you guys are ne going to need to scream at me and say, you said you're not going to do this because I am very adamant. I am not hunting her her first year. She's going to hunt when the second season comes around. So we still got one more season with Cora, and then the next season will be Nala. I just, I don't want to rush into it. I don't want to rush the process. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to let her go at her pace. Let her show me what she needs. Uh, I learned a lot training Cora. <laughs> Cora is a very drivey dog. She's a lot to handle. She takes heavy corrections to really get her correct. So um, with different breeding here, we went British instead of American. And uh, we're just, I don't know. We'll see where this adventure takes us. I'm really excited. So uh, I know you guys are probably excited to see some more video of Nala. So let's go step over there, say hi, see what she's up to, eating plants. We're uh, just a puppy. Puppies are uh, a lot more work than I remember. They always said having two dogs is easier. <laughs> I think it's making it more difficult. Nice squirt. Oh, yeah. Yellow labs show all the mud. I just stepped in poop. Right now, what we're doing with Nala is we're crate training, potty training, getting on a good schedule, and uh, that's kind of the main focus right now. We're not really worried about any retrieves right now. I've, I've done one retrieve for her, so I'm, I'm really kind of taking a laid-back, relaxed approach with her, and I think that's going to help us out in the long run. So 
she's got a good demeanor she's not barking uh, she's good in her crate for the most part uh, you know all in all she's been a pretty good pup she's just kind of testing some boundaries it kind of started yesterday she's testing some boundaries so we got to stay pretty uh, on top of that but you know I'm very excited I'm ready for the puppy stage to kind of fizzle out and get into more of an adolescent dog I say that but then when the adolescent dog comes I'm gonna probably want the puppy stage back the thing about Nala is she's not a cuddler she is always wanting to do stuff when she's out of her crate she has not once just like sat in her lap and taken <laughs> taking a nap I hope that uh, maybe that'll happen but if it doesn't it doesn't I don't really think Cora Cora cuddled a little bit as a puppy but she was also very independent so I don't know what to expect here. I'm just kind of taking it day by day right now. She's figuring herself out. She's learning and, you know, it is what it is. We're going to just uh, take it one day at a time. She's growing like a weed. I guess we'll uh, see where this adventure takes us. So if you guys want to, go ahead and smash that like button for me. It means a lot when you guys do that. And may be sure to stay tuned. I'll be doing some training updates throughout this training process. So if you guys are interested, make sure to tune in for those. And... I'm gonna let these guys play a little bit and then start my day. So that's uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys on the next one.